Excellency, Mr. Rio Proof, the Ambassador uh, of Australia uh, in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ms. Munika Tase, the Counselor to the Foreign Minister, Mr. Janos. 2018 marks uh, a very distinctive uh, time line, I think, for both 47 years of the independence of Bangladesh. We are uh, I think the 50 years of Golden Jubilee celebration for Bangladesh is just knocking at our door for digital Bangladesh. But 2018 for Estonia also celebrates uh, the 100 years of the Republic of Estonia. So I think uh, it's an it's a interesting year. And we were uh, having a little laugh uh, earlier today when I was signing uh, the oath uh, uh, certificate. Uh, where the date today is uh, 9 9 18. So 9 plus 9 equals 18. So it's a very unique number. Um, and I'm very proud and privileged to be 
uh, appointed as honorary consul today. As we gather here today to commemorate the start of a beautiful relationship uh, between our two countries, I would like to extend my heartless and uh, warmest gratitude for all of you for your supporting uh, this uh, gesture, and I hope and pray that you will continue to support uh, whatever are being identified uh, as scope for collaboration between our two countries. These are in the ICT uh, industry, in e infrastructure, security services, and cybersecurity. So in a very focused manner, um, both in the government sector as well as in the private sector, and in many cases a combination of both, um, focusing on the strength, how we can actually, the two countries can complement each other in finding a solution or solutions that can serve, uh, um, you know, I think. The opportunities in G2G, B2B, B2C, and C2C are in abundance. And in my capacity as honorary counsel, I aim for gratitude to the chairman of the Parliamentary Standing Committee of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Bikumuni, and our respected members of parliament who are also here to grace the occasion today with their presence. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I would like to initiate the proceedings and look forward to hearing and learning from all the dignified speakers that we have to speak today. Thank you all and enjoy the rest of the evening. I'll be very brief. Um, let me uh, congratulate the, and uh, also welcome, uh, a very hearty welcome to um, the Honorable Foreign Minister of Estonia, Post and Telecommunications and ICT. Um, so he is here, and I'm sure because this is Estonia, and with all of their um, prowess in this sector, in the ICT sector. Our uh, State Minister, we have a lot to say. Um, I just want to uh, mention that though uh, our two countries are geographically maybe uh, um, quite apart, uh, but there are uh, some commonalities um, which um, are, are remarkable, I think, in the ICT sector. We are trying to become a digital Bangladesh, and um, Estonia's uh, successes in this sector uh, is known all over the world. Um, and I think both our nations are very musical. Uh, so uh, that's one very happy common thing. Uh, so uh, there are many opportunities. Welcome to the Foreign Minister again. And, um, to all the distinguished guests, friends here, yeah. and uh, thank you for uh, uh, inviting me to be part of this uh, joyous occasion. Thank you. And uh, Excellencies, government officials, members of parliament, business to be here. I'm uh, really honored to be here, and I would like to share in the last May, actually, me and Mr. Farhad. We visited Estonia, France, and we had a very good meeting with Honorable Foreign Minister at his office development. And uh, what we actually feel that in the field of cybersecurity and also human social for both of our countries, and we're really happy to know that uh, currently we have more than 300 e-citizens from Bangladesh to Estonia who are working for and more than 200 students, they are studying over there. We met with some of them and I'm uh, really uh, hopeful that in the future, uh, the, both the countries will actually excel. So, uh, best of luck and thank you for visiting us and, and also enjoy the dinner. Thank you very much. Enjoy the Members of the Parliament, Chairman of Parliamentary Standing Committee, Minister of Foreign Affairs and former Minister of uh, Foreign Affairs of Bangladesh, uh, State Minister ICT, and freshly appointed Mr. Sir Farah Ahmed, 
Estonia and Ghana are constantly in Bangladesh. Other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as uh, sitting for or sleeping for 60 hours. So I will limit my remarks with the introduction of Honorable Minister Mixer. Mixer is one of the of the most senior uh, parliamentary parliamentarians in Estonia. So <laughs> Mr. Mixer has served Estonia twice as the Minister of Defence and uh, he's been serving as the Minister of Foreign Affairs since November 2016. Uh, during his parliamentary career he has served as the Chair of the Foreign Affairs Committee and he holds a Bachelor's Degree from, in English Language and Literature from Tartu University which is the most prominent uh, university in Estonia and one of the most prominent and uh, oldest in the whole Europe. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please join me welcoming uh, His Excellency Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Sven Thank you. The long awaited moment has arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, it's our immense pleasure to welcome His Excellency, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Republic of Estonia. Mr. Sven Mixer on stage. Here, uh, welcoming us in such a wonderful uh, manner. Uh, we are newly appointed uh, chair of the of Berkeley's Committee of Parliament, Honorable uh, State Minister for ICT, uh, all uh, honorary consuls of the representative of occasion. Um, usually, as in that condition, I must say that uh, usually I only see my name. On, uh, on a poster, that, but uh, indeed, this is uh, a special occasion since uh, uh, it is the first ever visit by an Estonian cabinet minister to, to Bangladesh. And what for new avenues for cooperation between our two countries, we might uh, must make the best uh, use of uh, uh, together. And I believe that our dedication to um, use those opportunities for the new technologies, the innovative way of thinking for the benefit of our people, uh, of our peoples. Uh, that's something that I think that the, the visit journey this year of the role of State Minister Vice T and, and, and for us to Estonia yeah, testifies behalf of Bangladesh and Bangladesh government and Bangladesh business people to, to find business opportunity. Yeah. Well, Estonia, despite its small size and its small population, has been a very active player in international, yeah, as a member of the international community. We have uh, and, and appreciate the dedication of Bangladesh to, to the uh, causes of UN peacekeeping. Uh, Estonia, uh, for the first time ever, uh, is, is running currently run the Bangladeshi, Bangladeshi government to our candidacy. Uh, I think uh, uh, links between our countries that are not that widely known. And, and when we uh, case later uh, draw the blueprints uh, for a building that was to become one of the symbols of uh, independent sovereign uh, state of Egypt, have been inspired by the by the of the castle on that on the island of Sarima, which I uh, had a chance to 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 uh, visit, uh, need to be publicized more. And, 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 and um, I think that the power people of each other, uh, so as to uh, best tap into the opportunities, business opportunities um, in our respective countries. And, uh, <laughs> 